इंट्रोडक्शन गुड मॉर्निंग टीचर गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल लर्न स्ट्रक्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन एनिमल्स सर वॉट काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर डू एनिमल्स हैव ऑल द एनिमल्स आर मेड अप ऑफ टिश्यूज सर हाउ मेनी काइंड ऑफ टिश्यूज इन एनिमल्स आर प्रेजेंट देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल टिश्यूज सर आर दी ऑर्गन इन ह्यूमन बॉडी ऑल्सो मेड ऑफ टिश्यूज यस नैना इन दिस लेसन यू विल लर्न एनिमल टिश्यूज एंड दी ऑर्गन ऑब्जेक्टिव एट दी एंड ऑफ दिस लेसन यू विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब epithelial tissue describe connective tissue describe muscular tissue describe neural tissue describe organ and organ system animal tissues in animals organs are composed of different combinations of four basic tissue types they are epithelial tissue connective tissue muscular tissue and neural tissue let's know about them in detail epithelial tissue epithelial tissue is made up of cells which are closely associated to each other with no intercellular spaces and arranged in one or more layers This tissue is specialized form to cover all internal and external body surfaces. The two types of epithelial tissues are simple epithelium and compound epithelium. Let's know about them in detail. Simple epithelium On the basis of structure, simple epithelium is further divided into three types. They are squamous, cuboidal, and columnar. Squamous epithelium. Squamous epithelium is composed of flattened, irregularly shaped cells forming a continuous surface. They form the lining of cavities such as the mouth, blood vessels, heart, and lungs, and make up the outer layers of the skin. in the kidneys squamous epithelial cells line small structures known as glomeruli which are responsible for filtering the blood squamous epithelial cells line blood vessels where they are known as endothelium the endothelium functions as a gatekeeper for blood vessels cuboidal epithelial cuboidal cells are square or cuboidal in shape each cell has a circular nucleus in the center cuboidal epithelium is found in glands and in the lining of the kidney tubules as well as in the ducts of the glands they constitute the germinal epithelium which produces the egg cells in the female ovary and the sperm cells in the male testes columnar epithelial columnar epithelial cells are arranged in one or more layers the cells are elongated and column shaped columnar epithelial cells form the lining of the stomach and intestines some columnar cells are dedicated for sensory reception in ears nose and the taste buds of the tongue if the columnar epithelial cells possesses cilia that is fine hair outgrowth then they are called ciliated columnar epithelium the movement of cilia in a certain direction causes the mucus which is secreted by goblet cells to move in that direction ciliated epithelium is also found in the uterus and fallopian tubes of females glandular epithelium columnar epithelium with goblet cells is called glandular epithelium glandular epithelium are of two types unicellular glands consist of single 
isolated glandular cells such as goblet cells multicellular glands are composed of clusters of cells most glands are multicellular including the salivary glands glandular epithelium on the basis of secretion glands can be classified as exocrine glands glands that release their products onto the apical surface directly or through the epithelial duct that are connected to the apical surface example salivary gland endocrine glands glands that secrete their products directly in the blood stream endocrine glands lack a duct system example pituitary gland compound epithelium compound epithelium consists of more than one layer of cells being multilayered compound epithelia have very less role in secretion or absorption but they provide protection to underlying tissues against mechanical chemical thermal or osmotic stresses there are three types of junction in epithelium tissue tight junction it forms the closest contact between adjacent cells adhering junction it provides strong mechanical attachments between adjacent cells gap junction these are intercellular channels and it permits the free passage between the cells of ions and small molecules connective tissue Connective tissue is the most widespread and abundant type of tissue found in the human body. Its primary function is to support the body and to bind or connect together all type of tissues. It also provides mechanical strength which helps in locomotion. Connective tissues are cells which are widely separated from each other. These living cells secrete large amount of intercellular ground substance also called matrix the matrix is a non living material which may be liquid that is blood semi solid that is connective tissue or solid that is bone types of connective tissue there are three types of connective tissue they are loose connective tissue dense connective tissue and specialized connective tissue let's know them one by one loose connective tissue loose connective tissue has cells and fibers loosely arranged in the matrix areolar connective tissue it consists of three types of cells that are fibroblasts macrophages and mast cells and two types of protein fibers that are collagen and elastin fibers all distributed in the matrix adipose tissue it is another loose connective tissue consists of collagen fibers elastin fibers fibroblasts macrophages and adipocytes which store fat the adipose tissue synthesizes stores and metabolizes fats it prevents heat loss by forming an insulating layer beneath the skin dense connective tissue dense connective tissue the cells and fibers are compactly packed if the fibers are irregular in orientation the tissue is called dense irregular connective tissue it is found in the skin if the fibers show a regular orientation pattern it is called dense regular connective tissue example tendon and ligament specialized connective tissue specialized connective tissue it includes cartilage bones and blood cartilage 
It is a semi-rigid and flexible connective tissue. The matrix is solid, flexible and resists compression. The cells of this tissue, called chondrocytes, are bluntly angular and occur in clusters of two or three in each lacunae in the matrix. Bone It is a rigid and strong connective tissue. Bones give protection to the internal organs. Bones provide place for attachment of muscles and help in movement and locomotion. Long bones of the limb serve the weight-bearing function. Blood It is a connective tissue containing RBC, that is, red blood cell, WBC, that is, white blood cell, platelets, and plasma. The main function of the blood is transportation of gases, nutrients, etc. from one part of the body to the other part. Muscle Tissue Muscle tissue is capable to relax and contract and can do movement and mechanical work in various parts of the body. Muscle tissue can be divided into three categories. Skeletal, Smooth and Cardiac. Skeletal Muscle They have complex structure and are arranged in layers over the bones. The basic action of any muscle is contraction. For example, brain sends a signal down to a nerve cell telling your biceps muscle to contract. It involves in coordinated movements of limbs, trunk, jaws, eyeballs, etc. and in breathing process. Smooth Muscle Smooth Muscle Smooth muscle tissue is made up of thin elongated muscle cells and fibers. These fibers are pointed at their ends and each fiber has a single large oval nucleus. Smooth muscle controls slow involuntary movements such as the contraction of the smooth muscle tissue in the walls of the stomach and intestines. The muscles of the arteries contracts and relaxes to regulate the blood pressure and the flow of blood. Cardiac Muscle Cardiac muscles are found only in the walls of heart. Cardiac muscle tissue plays an important role in the contraction of the atria and ventricles of the heart. It causes the rhythmical beating of the heart, circulating the blood and its contents throughout the body as a consequence. Neural Tissue Neural tissues are the specialized structure for the conduction of electrical impulses that convey information from one part of the body to another. Organ and Organ System Organs are the next level of organizations in the body. An organ is a structure that contains at least two different type of tissue function as a together unit. There are different organs in human body, for example, liver, kidney, skin, etc. Organ system is composed of two or more different organs that work together to provide a common function. Some of the organ systems are skeletal system, muscular system, circulatory system, nervous system, etc. Did you know? A study including Indian origin researchers have shown that a protein that is necessary for lactation in mammals also acts as a tumor suppressor in breast cancer. We found that when ELF5 levels are low or absent, epithelial cells become more like stem cells, morphing into mesenchymal cells, changing their shape and appearance and migrating elsewhere in the body. This is how cancer spreads, said Sinha. 
Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Four basic tissue types are epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue, neural tissue. Epithelial tissue is specialized form to cover all internal and external body surfaces. Two types of epithelial tissue are simple epithelium and compound epithelium. Squamous epithelium is composed of flattened, irregularly shaped cells forming a continuous surface. Cuboidal epithelium cell has a circular nucleus in the center and found in glands and in the lining of the kidney tubules as well as in the ducts of the glands. Columnar epithelial cells forms the lining of the stomach and intestines. Compound epithelium consists of more than one layer of cells. The primary function of connective tissue is to support the body and to bind or connect together all types of tissue. Three types of connective tissue are loose, dense and specialized connective tissue. Muscle tissues are capable to relax and contract and can do movement and mechanical work in various parts of the body. Neural tissues are the specialized structure for the conduction of electrical impulses. An organ is a structure that contains at least two different types of tissue function as a together unit. Organ system is composed of two or more different organs that work together to provide a common function.